that helped me all morning in the garage and we demand service. Yes, Mr. Duncan. I think he's the one you got picked out. Here, here's the menu. Now you order yourself a plate of beans. Well, she is, ain't she? She is what? Say, how are the eggs this morning? What is it he's got picked out? A wife and I bet it's you. My ma says that anybody who gets married is crazy. Say, how about another piece of pie? Wait till you have your first piece. You win. And don't order beans for them. They're not good for children. No? No. Oh, I'll have to remember that when I have some of my own. You're always hanging around with somebody else's kids. Why don't you get some of your own? Maybe I will someday. Mind if I put up one of these? Thank you. How about a drink of water, baby? How about a couple of passes for putting that up? Sure. Just tell the manager I said so and he'll let you right in. Just a minute. to put this in the will call department. I'll pick it up on my way back after you let me in without passes. Okay, sister. This town isn't as small as I thought it was. Here's a couple of tickets to the merry-go-round. Thank you. You're welcome. Well... Now that you've got two passes, you're probably going to take somebody, huh? Maybe. Say, when do we
So it is, folks, the test of strength. Step right up and hit the bell and get a CR. Having a good time, honey? Sure. That's all it is, folks, the test of strength and a good cigar every time you ring the bell. Who'll be next? Step right up. Smack it on the button and hear the musical bell. All ready now. How about you, young fella? Have a little sure. That's a cinch. Watch me knock that bell right on the button. Well, Give me a dollar's worth. Okay. Yeah, hold my coat, honey. Uh-huh. There you are, friend. Watch me lose the cigars, folks. Watch me play a tune on that bell, too, baby. That's the side thing. Here we go. Hey, what? 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 Mama, let me throw one. <laughs> That's oh, what you're doing, Mama. Oh, my baby doll. Oh, isn't that a beauty, Daddy? You carry it home, will you? Yes, you carry it, Daddy. Mind your own baby. <laughs> Come on over, Daddy. Hey, you got anything harder to do around here? Not a thing, buddy, not a thing. Keep going. They're all just as easy. <laughs> here you are. Well, I'll be seeing you, big boy. Okay. Come on, honey. We'll in and win them out. Oh, Let's go and get it. Three nickel seven for a dime. Hi, buddy. Ring a cane and win a rock by baby. Three for nickel seven for a dime. Every time you ring a cane, you get a beautiful gray. Big, beautiful doll. Huh? Let's do. Give me a dollar's weight, will you? That's right, folks. Take plenty. Gents can throw as well as the ladies. There and every are. time you win, you get a beautiful doll. Come on now, baby. Oh, i got to win a doll. Mm -hmm. Take it easy now. Uh, Hot doggy, and he got that one. Over here. Over out. The big athletic show. Here they come. Look at them. Look at them. Here they are. Here they are. All right, folks. Just gather around. Come in close. Come on, it's all free. Step right up. Come on, old boy. Now, folks, before the young man proceeds with the free exhibition of bag punching, I want to call your attention, particularly to this main banner to my right. Look, look. And it means exactly what it says, meeting all comers. Anyone, any size, any weight, who can stay three rounds with the champion, we will forfeit the enormous sum of $25. Cold cash money. Anybody wants to take a chance. Isn't there anybody broke? Come on, step up. Anybody's broke. No, rock well, baby. here's the lucky one. we got to get this one. Ah, that's too bad. Gee, I said he would like to win one of those dolls. They are cute, aren't they? Too bad, brother. It's tough luck. Try again. Just it needs a little practice, that's all. Take seven more rings. And well, I guess I've got the bankroll. We can come back tomorrow. Oh, try your luck. Hey, yeah. hey, is there anybody broke? We're giving away $25. If you stay three rounds with the champion, step right over here and get 25 Say, hey, that's not a bad idea. Come on, let's get a lower. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Is not anybody who wants $25? Nobody broke? How about you, bud? Say, <laughs> I guess I've been wasting my strength winning those cigars. Why, there's $25 waiting for me in there. But you're not a fighter, Jack. You couldn't whip him. Say, I bet he wouldn't last a couple of rounds with me. But he's a champion. You might get hurt. Who, me? <laughs> you stick around and watch me come out with that bankroll. You want to try it? Come on, sir. Okay, Professor. Let's get going. Well, do you want to fight three rounds with a champion? Yeah, if he can last three rounds. <laughs> Folks, for the love of pride, wants to win the $25. There's the box office. Say, watch me rock that baby to sleep. Hey, Jack, where do you want the body stand? I'll get the ambulance ready. Ah, uh, quick. Ah, uh, 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 All right, you're the boys. Fight. Yeah, I'm the guy. I don't worry, right? Let's go. Oh, my God. Hey, can I make a cut here? 
the champion. And in this corner, Jack Duncan. Now, you're a fighter. You know the rules, don't you? You know the regulation, don't you? There's no hitting in the clinches. I want you to fight clean. And when I tell you to break, I want you to break. Now, go back to your corners, and when you hear the bell, come out fighting. I feel very well. I think I'll sit down for a minute. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. But if you'd listened to me, it never would have happened. I told you you couldn't lick him. You're not a fighter. Oh, I'm all right. Why don't you run along home, dear? And I'm... But I can't go and leave you here all alone. I tell you, I'm all right. Say, honey... Get me a bottle of pop, will you? I think it'll make me feel better. Certainly. I'll be right back. Well, what have you got that was not left over from yesterday? Read it and weep. Heard from your play, Senator Dempsey? <laughs> well, he sure did his disappearing act. Funny nobody seems to know where he went. What's funny about it? Oh, nothing funny, but it's queer that he should go away and not let anybody know where he went. Maybe he didn't want to stick around and be kidded. Maybe he didn't. <laughs> That's my goal. Fun. Already? Sure. Okay, boss. Let's get washed up, huh? Say we're going down to Joe's and see that dizzy blonde who wants to go places. Uh, I'm going to spend my lunch hour here. Say, hey, what's the idea of spending all your spare time punching a bag around? Oh, just an idea I got. Whatever it is, you sure stick to it. You've been doing that for a month. Well, I got a pretty good reason to do it. Well, we we'll see you. So long. with the champion. Who wants to take a chance? Anybody? Okay, Professor. Let's get going. You want to fight three rounds with the champion? Yeah, if you can last that long. All right, folks, there's the box office. The fight will commence immediately. Admission, 25 cents. Hey, hey, come talk. 25 cents. Listen to the cheering. Step right up and get your ticket.
where he gets the grand prize of $25. Hooray! Hooray! I feel, Doc. Yes. Take him in the dressing room, will you? All right, come on, old man. Had a boy. Brace up, Doc. Well, I'll help you. Thanks. Say, you're all right. Yeah? I'd like to have a little business talk with you. Sure, it's okay with me. Let's go over here. All right. Come right into our private office. There, sit down. There you are. Thanks. Well, how would you like to join up with our show? Join up? Yeah. Doing what? Taking Doc's place. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's like this. You see, Doc's getting too old for this racket. We gotta have somebody can polish off them palookas so we can give more shows a night. And you look just like the boy to fill the bill. What do you think, Doc? Sure. All he needs is a little training. Well, what do you... I can polish off those guys every day of the week. But I gotta look out for the heavyweights, you know. I can't take them on. Huh, don't worry. Me and Doc will handle them. Sure. All you do is handle the guys at your own weight. Now, I'll turn you right over to Doc and he'll take you in hand. What do you think? Okay. Shake. Jake. Jake, Doc. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Sure you have. I'm the little guy you knocked out in Clay Center, and he had to throw water all over his pan to bring him to. No. Yeah. That sure. was me. Sure. Well, you came a long way since then, kid. <laughs> I'll say I have. I've been practiced pretty hard since then, too. To get me? Yep. Okay, boy. That shows that you got the stuff in you. And pretty soon, you'll be knocking them right out of the ring into the back row. Sure. Sure I will. Well, I'm all higher then, huh? Boy, it's all set. He's that straight. Say, wait a minute. Oh, no, you ain't gonna run Oh, no, no, but I forgot. I gotta send a telegram. Oh, boy, I'll be right back. You know, sometimes I think that you got brains. I know it. Now, let me take this kid in hand first. Now, listen, this is what he's going to do. Let me show him my left. Will don't you talk about the left because you don't know nothing about the left. Mr. Hitmarkin. Sign here. Hey, 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 how about my pie? Well, you'll have to get it yourself. Right there. Right there, folks. Hold on, folks. Step right up, folks. Next, please. Could you please tell me where I can find Jack Duncan? Duncan? Hey, Duncan, yes, yeah, she'll find all the fight stamps. Thank you. Sure. Step right up, folks. Hello, honey. Jack! But, Jack, I thought you were hurt. No. I only put that in the wire so to be sure you'd come, that's all. Well, what are you doing here? I've joined the show. I'm the new champion. Twenty-five hours if they last three rounds with me. How do you like that? You mean you're working here? Sure. Say, you know what we're going to do? No. We're going to get married. Jack. Yeah. We're going to get married. I'm going to get a minister right away. I thought Jack killed that last palooka. Yeah. I got him so he could walk away by himself. I had to work on him for half an hour. Good. Say, that kid carries a stick of dynamite around in each hand, and when he connects, it's good night. How long has the kid been with us? Oh, pretty near three months. He sure has learned fast. Yes, I think he has. 
You know, I think we got a world beater in that kid. I think so, too. And you know the way the business is right now. What do you say if we have a talk with him? Say, that's a good idea. Where is he? He's down at edge with the missus. He's gonna ring himself a rocker by baby doll. <laughs> Bring a cane and win a beautiful great big doll. Hello there, Ed. Hello, Jack. Hello, Hello. Mrs. Duncan. Hello, Ed. Give me three rings, kiddo. Why so many? There's your nickel. And get those baby dolls ready. I've been practicing. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Watch this now, honey. Oh, I'll get it this time, though. There it is. How do you like that, huh? I'll say you've been practicing. Say, I should have gotten three dolls instead of two. I fell down today. Well, no hard feelings. But I hope you don't come back for a couple of days. Yeah. There you are, honey. Aren't they cute? Yeah, I'll say so. Oh. Mr. What? Sure you can. Give me it. I've been looking for a little girl like you. You like that doll? Yes. Well, it's all yours. You can have it. Thank you. Well, listen, honey. You run home and show it to your mother. You tell her I gave it to you. Goodbye. Well, that'll have to be ours instead of yours now. Come on, Donald. Oh, there's Duncan. Sit down. Sit down, honey. Jack, got a little bad news for you. Yeah? Well, maybe not so bad after all. The old man's going to close the show in a couple of three more weeks. That means that we're all out of jobs, huh? Well, maybe not. You tell him, Doc. <clears throat> what we've been thinking is this. Now, you've been going great. And there's no use for you to follow the carnival shows. Suppose we get you a couple of regular bouts. You get him and I'll fight him. Well, you won't be fighting a lot of corn-fed setups anyway. You make the match. I'll go through with it. That's what I was thinking. And so was Hurley, too. We just wanted to feel you out. Then it's all settled? Sure. We'll handle you? Whatever you two say goes with me. Great. Doc and me will get right busy. Well, meet the new world champion, Mrs. Duncan. <laughs> How do you like that, huh? <laughs> Who was that? It was from the wife. She's got a ringside seat and she said, good luck and don't get hoist. Don't worry about me, you won't lay a glove on us. Don't you kid yourself. That guy ain't no bum. Say, he will be when I get through with him. Hey, Doc, guess who I just run into? Who? Dick Morgan. No. He's a big shot with a lot of dough and nuts on fighters. And did I give him an earful about Jack? Now listen, kid. Morgan's got a ringside seat tonight. And if you can whip Dugan, chances are I can get him to back us. And that means we can fight the best of them and in time get a shot at the champion. Yeah? Well, you tell them to take that rubber band off the bankroll. We're all set, see? Great. Duncan and Duncan about ready to go on. Dead okay. Dead. Come on, kid. Okay. Let's that go. a boy. Ladies and gentlemen! Yeah! Let me wind up of the evening at 148 pounds with both boys on their way. Introducing... Battling Billy Dugan! <laughs> Jack Duncan!
I told you, didn't I, huh? You sure did. Well, did I win or did I win? You're asking me. Come on in. That's it. Jack, I want you to meet Mr. Morgan. How to do? How are you doing, Mr. Morgan? You know, Doc. <laughs> I've seen you in the ring many times, Doc. Thanks, Mr. Morgan. That was a great fight you put up tonight, my boy. <laughs> I guess I surprised everybody but myself. Oh, I don't know. Hurley here seems to have a lot of confidence in you. Yeah? Oh, I know a natural-born fighter when I see one, don't I? You sure do. <laughs> Maybe you better tell him what we were talking about. Oh, all right. I was saying to Hurley that I'd like to have you all come down to my summer camp. I got an open-air ring, plenty of room to do your road work, and keep in training. What do you say? Oh, yes, I'd be glad to. Then it's all settled, eh? Sure, my wife and I will come down. And I depend upon you to bring them there. You can't keep us away. <laughs> well, I'll see you down at the camp and look forward to it. You bet, Mr. Morgan. And the best of luck. Thank you. Goodbye, Doc. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Good night, Hurley. So long, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Who said there ain't no Santa Claus? <laughs> Boy, bring on the Rolls Royce. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, you think Hurley will be back in camp with any good news of a big fight for me? Yeah, he ought to be there by the time we get there. Bring Morgan up with him. Atta boy. Come on, let's feed. Let's go, will you? Oh, boy. Hi there, Governor. Hi, kid. Hello, honey. Hello. Well, how's the next champion? Say, if I get any better, they won't be able to lay a glove on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, kid, I've got some great news for you. Yeah? What is it? Come here. Come on, honey. I got your fight with McFarland. No. Yeah, in a couple of weeks. Say, hey, what do you know about that, honey? I guess I'm kind of getting up in the world, huh? You're going to be champion. You said it. Come on, let's go inside and talk it over. Wait a minute. we got to go through a few rounds yet. Hey, Mug, bring on some 12 ounces. Okay, Doc. Listen, honey, you run along and get us some dinner, will you? As you can find an old steak, smother it with onions, huh? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, doggy. Okay, ducky, old boy. Okay, Doc. Uh, Jack, I want three good, fast, three-minute rounds. Oh, uh, you do, huh? How are you making it, Jack? Thanks, Slim. Hi there, Slim. So you want three three-minute rounds? Yes, that's what I want. You do a lot, don't you? Hey, mister, can we watch the fight? Huh? Can we watch the fight? <laughs> sure you can. Come on up, I'll give you a ringside seat, boy. That's up, boy. Get right in. You sit there. Well, good luck. All right, Slim. How do you like that? Come yeah. on, Jack, let's go. Good luck. Give me the money. I never saw anybody so crazy about kids. He ought to have some of his own. Oh, uh, I've got to get to a telephone. Well, I'll go with you, because I have to get dinner. Oh, well, will you? Of course. Use your right. Use your right. Come on. Say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you're not going to use that left, leave it home. All right. All right. Hello, Mr. Morgan. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Mr. Morgan, Jack. Oh, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Jack. This is Miss Reed, Mr. Duncan. How do you do, Miss? <laughs> Miss Reed just came up to the camp with me for a few days. Yeah? I'm so glad I've come now. That? Well, that's just one of Morgan's names that he brought along. He's got a whole stable of them. And I got a phone. Well, I guess I'll be getting along. I'll see you all again later. Goodbye, Vi. Bye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye, Dick.
Perhaps if you finish boxing, he'll show me about the camp. Yeah? Sure. Be a pleasure. Hey, Doc, am I through for the day? All right, you can go along. I have to go and get my clothes. I'll be right back for you. You know what I think it'd be fun? To go on a picnic together. You mean... just you and I alone? Certainly. <laughs> well, I'm game. communications that we've received, I might tell you that in the fight between Jack Duncan and Jimmy McFarland, Duncan won by a knockout in the fifth round. The fight was a sensational one, but Duncan was clearly McFarland's master and had him in trouble right from the opening bell. Duncan, known as the fight... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the big rush? Hey, listen, Doc. You know Violet. Sure. I mean, Miss Reed. Well, she's throwing a little private party tonight and... Say, would you mind taking the missus back to camp, you and Hurley? Ain't you gonna take her with you to it? No, you... You know, she don't get along very well with people and they thought of getting her hair. I gotcha. Thanks, Doc, old boy. I'll do the same for you someday. Go on. Hey, Doc. What's the matter with Jack? He just gave me the go-by. Yeah, he's got a date with that Reed Dane. She's throwing a big party for him, and you and I take the wife back to camp. Uh huh. And you and me don't get no invite, huh? No. Well, say... That's no way to treat his wife. Oh, he don't mean anything by it. He's just a kid. I guess you're right. A little success has gone to bigger heads than his. You're telling me? stadium is jammed to the rafters. There's a lineup for blocks fighting to get in. You think Jack will win? Why, he's a sick. He'll have Strickland out for the fight half over. Got your seat in the press row, right at the ringside. I don't think I'd better go. Why? What's the matter? I haven't been feeling very well. Jack know about it? I thought I'd tell him after the fight. I was afraid he'd worry about me. You're sure a great sport. And won't he be tickled about it? You think so? Well, I know so. Never saw anybody as crazy about kids as he is. 
Hey, listen. Morgan's giving a big party after the fight at his country estate. I'll call by and pick you up. Okay? You think I should go? Why, sure. You can tell Jack about it at the party. And will he be proud? Hey, I've got to get out of here. Now, you haven't got a radio here, have you? No, I haven't. I'll have one sent up. You can sit right there and listen to the championship change in hand. Thank you, Mr. Hurley. Okay. Of the world at 147 and a half pounds, Jack Duncan, the fighting gentleman. Oh, yeah. And in this corner, the welterweight champion at 148 pounds, Benny Strickland. Yeah. And the referee, the former heavyweight champion of the world, James J. Zippy. Break when I tell you, don't hold and hit, and take care of yourself and break away and finish it. I mean, don't hold and hit. You can't hold and hit. That's all right, 
Step right up this way, folks, and get your pink lemonade. There you are, and there's plenty more where this came from. Oh, no, boy, I hope it's made of good stuff. Good stuff. I'll tell you how to test it. Turn it round with your finger, and if the nail doesn't come off, it's good to drink. <laughs> oh, I'm weary. Sit. Bad. I think it's wonderful. You're the new champion. I always knew I would be. Does it hurt much? No. Just a couple of scratches, that's all. Oh, gee, the fight was marvelous. I watched you every minute. I knew you'd win. Sure. Hey, Morgan. Hi, Hurley. How do you do, Mrs. Duncan? Welcome to our city. How do you do, Mr. Morgan? I thought the party would do her good. Why, of course it will. Didn't see what the pipe. It meant too much to me. I didn't dare watch it. But I listened in over the radio. Well, a fight's no place for a woman anyway. You take your punches this way. No, thanks. <laughs> I don't think I care for any. No, really? Oh, I suppose you're dying to see Jack, aren't you? Uh -huh. now, let me see. He's somewhere around the pool. The last time I saw him, I think he was somewhere over there. I'll go look for him. All right, dear. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Are well, you having a good time, old boy? Oh, this looks perfect to me. Fill it up, fill it up. All the way? Yes, sir. Oh, watch your step. You're not used to this strong stuff. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me I don't know a champion when I see one. <laughs> You're okay, Morgan. Jack owes a lot to you. He'll be doing me a favor someday. Sure he will. I'll be seeing you. All right. Hello, honey. I didn't know that you were coming here. Mr. Hurley brought me. Well, why don't you put on a bathing suit and join in the party? Didn't you think the fight was great? I think we should be very proud of Jack. We? I came here to tell you something. Well, what is it? Oh, don't mind Vi, go right ahead. Well, I don't suppose what I had to tell you would... Oh. Honey, honey. Oh, it can't be very important if she chose a party to come and tell you about it. Whatever it is, she'll be over it by morning. Wives always are. Come on, let's go to the bungalow and have a highball. Did you break the news to him? How did he take it? I never want him to know now.
can't understand that kid at all. After all the things that we did for him. Seems like he's lost interest in the game. He's a pain in the neck to me. If that's all that ever happens to your neck, you're going to be lucky. Say, listen, I can talk about that guy, but nobody no. else... Well? Oh, he hasn't shown up yet. Probably out with that dame somewhere, huh? Yeah, she's going to put him under Fritz. Yeah, that and his wife leaving him. Now, hadn't he heard from her yet? No. She's been gone a couple of months now. Well, we got to do something to straighten that guy out, because the first fight he has, he'll be the ex-champ. You said a mouthful, boy. We got to get him another fight soon, too. Yeah. You know, you can't remain champ unless you take on a fight now and then. Now, well, let's go back to the hotel. Maybe he'll show up there. Oh. I wonder where his wife went. Well, I'd like to know, too. You know, I'm worried about her. You're worried about her? Yeah. Why? What? Oh, nothing. Jack, don't take him so much. The ice melt makes him too weak. <laughs> Who's doing this, woman? Just the world champion. You said it. Yeah. You know, there's only one thing the matter with these. What? This cup's too small. Say, so you ought to get a bathtub to drink out of. <laughs> Silly. <coughs> well, here she goes. Happy days. Come on, darling. Sit down. You don't have to ask me twice. Say, I just remembered. I bet that gang's been waiting for me all day down at the gymnasium. Oh, don't go. They just want to keep you away from me. I know, but I got to keep in training. Of course you do. Tomorrow will do just as well. Sure. <laughs> I'm in good shape anyway. Say, I bet I could lick that guy strictly again tomorrow. Of course you could, darling. Is this a private party, or may I come in? Oh, hello, Mr. Morgan. We weren't expecting you. I rather thought you might be, but you were playing a little joke on me. May I offer you a cocktail? Oh, never mind. After all, perhaps you'd better save it. There's no knowing when you'll get more. I always felt that you would return the favor for my having given you a start to the championship. I said that to Hurley that night at the party. <laughs> I never expected one quite as big as this. And what favor is he doing for you? Taking you off my hands? <laughs> I've been trying to get rid of you for a long while. Well, I'll see you both in church. Well, that's that. What's that? That. Hello, kid. We waited for you down at the gymnasium. Yeah? I didn't get down there. I thought you did. But I guess that was somebody else. Say, is that a crack? Now, we gotta get down to cases, Jack. You're the champ now, and you gotta fight once in a while. Why, the newspapers are yelling already for a return match with Strickland. Here. Get a load of that. Well, make the match. I'm ready. Sure you're ready. Ready for the hospital of Strickland, Saksha one. Ah, now listen, kid. What do you say if we get down to training in earnest? The first thing in the morning, huh? 
Sure, go ahead. Say, I'll start right in now if you want me to. Hey, Violet told me the swellest story you ever heard in your life. Oh, you ought to heard it. Listen, there were two guys sitting on the park. you got to step into it. By the way you're going, you wouldn't last a round with Strickland. Oh, I'll be all right tonight of the fight. Come on. That's it. Come on, step. Step, get back. You're a pretty sick girl. You're going to require a lot of looking after. Uh, tell me the name of some of your friends. I haven't any friends, Doctor. It isn't as bad as that. Isn't there someone we can reach by phone? Oh, uh, now, you can trust your doctor. You can call Mr. Hurley at Main 3470. That's fine. And everything's going to be all right. Thank you, I'll call Mr. Hurley on my way out. You're nowhere near being in good shape. Oh, I'll be all right. Now, don't worry about it. Yeah, well, talking about it ain't going to knock Strickland up. Hey, Hurley, went on the phone. Okay. Don't you worry, kid. You're going to be all right. But listen. Hello. Yes, it's Mr. Hurley. Yeah. All right. Thank you. That's it. Lift the bolt them up at the same time. All right. All right. Get that. Get that. Come on now. That, that telephone call is from the doctor. Your wife is sick. Yeah. Well, where is she? She's in an apartment house on the other side of town. She asked for me? No, the doctor never said a word about you. Well, what's the matter with her? Jack, she's a pretty sick little girl. Yeah? Well, come on, we gotta get to her right away. Well, take my gloves off, will you? Help me get dressed. Here it is. Maybe I better go in first. Sort of break the news to her that you're here. Go ahead. Is it all right? No. She doesn't want you to come in. She doesn't even want to see you. But I tell you, I've got to see her. But you don't understand everything. Wait a minute now. She says no. And I don't blame her after the way you've treated her. Do you? No, but I can explain all now that. Now, this you. is no time for explanations. Now, Jack, you go on back to the hotel. I'm staying here with the doctor to fix up things. All right, I'll go. Go ahead. How is she? We just took her to the hospital. And she's a pretty sick girl. What's the matter with her? She 
He's going to have a baby. What? That's the reason she went down to Morgan's party. Just to tell you. She didn't want to worry you about it just before the fight. Don't you understand? Well, why did you tell me? You ought to tell me about it. You should have told me about it. Hello? It's that dame, Miss Reed, Jack. She wants to talk to you. You tell her that I'm out. He says to tell you he's out. <laughs> Down the hall, will you? Let's see what's happened to the governor. Hurry up. All right, kid. Any news? I just had a phone call from the doctor. What'd he say? Now listen, kid. I've never held out on you yet, and this is no time to start. And the fight will be on in a little while, and you've got to go in there and win. They're expecting a baby any time. And the doctor is plenty worried. Well, what did the doc say? Well, he says there's a chance of them not pulling through. You mean that... That she might? Yep. He can't tell you. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. It's just a toss-up. Say, I'm going down there. Now, wait a minute. Fight or no fight? Now, wait a minute. Now, listen, you can't stop me from going down there. Well, I wouldn't do any good. They wouldn't let you in. What do you mean, they wouldn't let me in? Say, I'd like to see him stop now, me. Now, listen, kid. It's liable to prove fatal to her. And the doc promised he'd send me a telegram to the stadium the minute anything happens. Now, you go in there and fight and pray for the best. Will you, kid? All right. I'll go in there on one condition. As soon as you get a telegram, you come in the ring and show it to me, whether I'm in the middle of a round or not. All right, I'll do it. Promise? That's a promise. Hey, listen. I've got to get her a message. That's all I'll listen, kid. That's what do you mean? Now I take your shirt on, kid. Listen, hey, listen. You've got to hear from me. But at this stage of the game, they won't take a message to her. Look, Doc, you phone this into me right away, will you? There. That's it. I'll beat it down to the boot. Phone it in right away, will you? Okay. Make it snappy. Come on, Doc. Hurry. Pull yourself together, kid. Go on in about five minutes. Will you kindly take a message to Mrs. Duncan's doctor? This will have to be ours instead of yours. I love you, Jack. If you tell the doctor it's from her husband, thank you very much. Yay! Yay! Yes! 
Jeffrey. Shake hands. Like when I tell you, don't hold in head. Take care of yourself and break away from clinches. Now I mean don't hold in head and come out fighting. I got a hunch, kid. Everything's gonna be all right. Listen, you show me that wire as soon as you get it, do you hear? Okay, I left orders for the boy to bring it right to the ringside. Okay. Come on, come on. Think of that. I'm sorry you lost your fight, but I'm glad you're a father. Thanks, oh, kid. kid. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Gee, am I happy? I'm not kidding you. Well, that's all good. Say, men, how would you like to go and have lunch with me, huh? Well, go and take us home with you? I should say not. Where'd you ever get that idea? Bet you ain't got a home. Ah, uh, go on. I bet you I have. I bet you. I bet you. Oh, hello, honey. Hello. Well. The galley's asleep. Say, who says I haven't got a home? Take a load of that. See a baby. Yeah. Well, you guys have been working hard enough. Come on. Eat your lunch. Sit down. Pile right in. Eat your way out. That's it. 
Come on, honey, sit right down. There. So how's he feel? Fine. Look at that. <laughs> My pop likes babies. Wish he had more. Say, you got a smart plopper. We're gonna have more too. We got. Yes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Pardon me. Well, what do you know about that? I thought you said he was asleep. Look at that. Is that cute? Hi there, boy. Hi there. Hey, look at your old man. Look at your old man, would you? <laughs> That's it. Uh...